What's up guys? Welcome to your 18th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, it's me Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up our menu because we're going to create a lot of small applications and we just want to have a menu so we can kind of go to each each activity and see what that example does. So basically our menu is going to be um, our activity that we want after our splash screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a new class by right clicking on the package my computer doesn't freeze here and then go to new class and we're gonna call this menu now hopefully you guys kinda of get familiar with the layout of this on create stuff um, again some some things are probably still pretty confusing for you guys but just stick with the series and everything will make sense at the end especially this this um, these next three tutorials it might be a little bit confusing because it's uh, working with a list list activity for the most part so that's gonna be different but when you guys come back to it you'll realize everything that we've done and it's gonna make sense so just um, this is a nice framework that we can use so we're gonna say extends and before we'd say extends activity for the most part but since we want to create a list we can use a different class called a list activity And so this is gonna extend base or we can use some of the methods from the list activity after we import it so we have to do that and we're going to be able to use the same methods from the activity class but we're also going to use some uh, additional methods from the list activity class because it holds both for the most part so we're going to go into our brackets here and we're going to create um, two methods within this this class so we're going to go to source override implement methods and as you can see right here we can uh, pull from the list activity class and from the activity class so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the list activity and we're going to look for something called on list item click. And we're going to add that method and then we're going to go into the activity class and again just get our on create method. For the most part nothing too new here. What we're going to set up is a variable. Um, it's going to be a string array and basically what a, an array is is it holds multiple values for basically the same variable depending on what position it is. I know that's kind of confusing but we're going to just set it up and I'll explain it as we go. And we want this string array to be able to be accessed by both our on create and or both our on create and our list item click. And I'm just going to move this up real quickly um, just cuz oops. Just cuz I can for the most part above uh, the on list item click. There we go. And since we want this string array to be accessed by both these methods, we're going to define it again above our onCreate method or above both methods. So we're going to say a string and we're going to call this string classes. And to make it, a, to make it an array, you want to add square brackets like that. And we're going to hit this equals and we're going to define the string array. And then I'll kind of explain what a string, a string array is um, after we set it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, again another pair of brackets right here and then within quotations because strings are basically like words you can think of. Think of it like that in programming it's just a word. So we're going to call this first string position um, let's see starting point. The exact same name as our class name that we have called starting point. Make sure it's the exact same um, case sensitive and everything because we're going to have this application use these uh, string positions for the most part to open a new a new activity. So just say starting point and then we're going to um, put a comma and we can say example one and uh, then I'm just going to copy this and paste it a few times just to get some more things within our array. And I, I'm just, uh, it's still all in basically one line of code. I'm just copy and pasting. So uh, we still need to enter bracket right here and still need to finish it with a, with a uh, semicolon. So there we go. We have some things within our list array. Um, and we can change these names as we go. Well, basically, I'm just going to change them for, for the most part right now because it'll be easy reference for you guys. So now what we can do is we can access this. Uh, string array and give it a position and it will find what position it is within the string so 
sorry, I got an extra bracket there. Sorry if that confused you guys. So now, for example, I'm not we aren't going to reference it right here, but for example, we can use the the variable name called classes, and within the brackets, we can say four, something like that. Now what this is going to be equal to is our classes string array, the fourth position. So it's and it always starts at a zero. So starting point is our zero position. This will be our first position, position two, position three, position four. So what this is equal to is the exact same as quotations example uh, four, which would be a string. So basically, hopefully that got kind of makes sense, and we're going to use this more. Again, I, I know it's kind of confusing at the moment, but uh, just stick with the series, guys, and everything will make sense eventually. Thanks again for watching. We basically just set up the string array, and we're going to finish this whole activity in the next couple tutorials. So I'll catch you guys then. Have a good day.